I know my friends kind of look at it as just another piece of art to just add to the campus. I feel as though if they explained the art piece better, then we would be more open to trying to figure out what it is. Do I like that house? That's a complicated question. <laughs> You know, there's a very wide range of definitions of art. I like to say that art is about paying attention and in order to understand the world around you. Paying attention means encountering maybe as a discovery or maybe it means studying, you know, intensely or carefully something. Paying attention can be just noticing um, and thinking about what you noticed Paying attention can be a lot of, uh, of different varieties and levels of thinking. I really like the idea of encountering the sculptures when you're not in a museum frame of mind, when you're just wandering the campus. The Stewart Collection ranges all the way from the Kiki Smith, which is pretty classical in nature, you know, as a female figure standing in this Madonna-like pose, to a bear you know, which is obviously, you know, recognizable as a bear immediately. But then to the Bruce Nauman vices and virtues, which are, which represent traditional lists of, of, of what is right and what is wrong, to the house on the roof or the Irwin uh, fence, which is, engages the territory that it's in and I like to say that every artistic decision that Robert Irwin made is based on qualities, or was based on qualities that exist in the Grove. You couldn't take that work and put it anywhere else. It would have no meaning. So it's a very different approach, and um, I thought it was important to demonstrate that we weren't going to just do, you know, large statues, <laughs> statuary, or you know, all over campus. And so we've chosen a lot of artists who aren't necessarily known for their so-called public art or artists who we think think in interesting ways. Um, William Wegman's one example. You know, he's a really interesting artist. He's a wonderful painter. He's known primarily for his work with his Weimar honors, dogs, and um, his humor with those. John Baldessari is another, and Elizabeth Murray is another um, of artists who don't, who haven't really thought about site-specific or um, you know site-related or or outdoor work. John Baldessari kept saying, "Mary, I'm not a sculptor." I said, "I know, John, but you're you were born in National City. You've taught here. You've been a really important artist and a really important teacher." And I, you know, let's talk about ideas. Some artists feel that audience participation is an important part of the work. Students like to interact with the bear, which I think is great. Um, you know, they make costumes for it, they project onto it, they, whatever. I, you know, my main concern is the safety and they interact with the sun god in the same way. People make offerings, you know, people have weddings, people take their photographs there. They, um, that's not necessarily interactive, but they, you know, they dress it up for graduation. People sit on the Ian Hamilton Finley, you know, they're just these big blocks of stone with these signs or, and letters, or a, the wave sign and then the letters for the word of, the Latin word for wave, unda. Some students said, can't we just sit on, and sit on them and drink beer? You know, you can climb on the Elizabeth Murray shoe, children can. They can climb inside, they can see how it's made, they can treat it as a fort. Now, I know that the theater assigns students works based on the configuration of the Fleischner, which is terrific. Those are all great aspects of some of the works. The artist knows that we'll do it in a way that's consistent with their, their intention and with their aesthetic. So um, it's definitely uh, has become a, a way of uh, 
of kind of breaking those those boundaries of, of whatever public art is kind of meant to be. Because it's a university campus, it's a somewhat protected context. It's a place where an artist can take a chance. It's not a place where there's a level of trust between uh, who's doing the commissioning, namely us, the Stewart Collection, and the artist, that it's possible for the artist to come up with an idea, um, but the artist doesn't have to figure out how to build that idea or how to uh, you know, or all the different manifestations or problems or issues that are going to come up uh, in connection with that idea. That's our job. There's a, an illusion that, that we're looking for. And all of these technical decisions have to be in the service of that illusion. In the Fallen Star example, uh, having that house look like it's perforating the building, uh, really sticking through and has crashed into the building, is a lot harder than simply building, you know, a kind of extension on the building. Uh, it has to be both, you know, it has to be supported, it obviously can't have crashed in there. But that illusion can sometimes be um, very complex. When I actually was here on, on the November 15th and when I saw the, um, the actual lifting, it just, you know, blew me away, you know, beyond my imagination. and. Uh, the most striking thing was um, sort of level of involvement uh, by all the people and parties who got involved in this project. And uh, that was quite impressive and actually quite moving. There's just some inherent nerves that are involved when you pick up something that's 70,000 pounds and, and structurally attach it to another building. It's a, it's a joint effort with a lot of different disciplines and it's just a matter of coordinating everybody at the right time. Always it exceeds your sort of expectation and imagination in a way because you see this project uh, from different points of, on the campus and then each time you discover different angle of the house, it's just a completely new experience. And uh, so it will take a while, I think. It's not a, a project that, um, well, I think it will slowly reveal yeah, it slowly it, reveals it, itself. itself yeah. Yes. This is an institution that is built on experiment, and uh, if the Stewart Collection is going to keep to its principles, um, it has to be unpredictable, and uh, it has to bring great people here, um, uh, great artists, uh, you know, people who are on a par with the, the greatest uh, researchers and um, and writers and. Uh, and scientists on this campus uh, bring them here to do things that are experimental, that uh, push uh, not just their uh, aesthetic uh, limits, but maybe uh, technical limits of how things can, uh, can fit together. I think it's wonderful that the Stewart Collection continues to uh, sort of lay claim to different kinds of space. We go for broke with each artist. I like to say that art outlives politics. People say, how can you call that art? Well, you know, what is art? Art is an experience that hopefully takes you someplace you haven't been.